What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to make a restaurant chatbot using Dialogflow. So this video is just going to go over the basics and really uh, us making intents and uh, really using just JavaScript in our intents to make uh, the UI better and easier for uh, customers to go through um, to go through certain intents in uh, in other intents so like there's like a flow a, a chat flow basically and in the next video I'm going to be going over uh, fulfillment uh, in which we can uh, really connect our chatbot to calendars API and use node mailer to send emails and calendars API to make reservations so our chatbot is going to look something like this here's a demo chatbot I made and we can book a table like so which will um, basically add um, this booking to calendars API so if I say tomorrow what time 9 p.m. Uh, we will need your phone number so I'm just gonna put some random names I'm gonna put my real name in real life uh, my email address and my phone number. I'm gonna put some random phone number because I don't want people calling me. So I'm gonna put some seven three two two nine seven. And yeah, so this uh, successfully booked the table for five guests tomorrow at nine p.m. So right here we booked the table. So we can also see the menu like what is on the menu you can see the breakfast menu we can order here as well and we have a basically a link to the restaurant's website <clears throat> so let's start making this chatbot right here so before we start making the chatbot i really want to test it and i think a really cool way to test it is just to go to integrations uh, go to um, we can go to the dialog flow messenger I think I think this is it and uh, we can go over right here wait no enable and then just copy this code right here and then this is a demo website you can run it locally like make an HTML website and just paste the code there in the body tag but I'm just going to use Wix for now faster um, so put the code right there update okay so the, here the chatbots here so I'm gonna put it somewhere there maybe like that so and then make it bigger and yeah publish done and now let's go ahead and so right here we have the chatbot obviously it's not it's not like centered probably so let's go back to the editor and just set that set this properly so if i minimize that i can put it like slow and yeah save it and i can publish this and new site and uh, the chatbot should show up any moment once it loads. Okay, so let's let's just go ahead and start coding. Or not coding, but like starting with the intents. So the first thing we want to do is go into our walk, welcome intent, which is a default welcome intent. And right here we have someone says hi or whatnot, they might say. Um, however, we're not going to be using uh, we're not going to really exactly be using this, uh, um, using this part. Let me just make it clear with you, for you guys. So right here, we're going to say Facebook welcome. So if you want to your top out to go on Facebook, you can have it there. We're going to do a telegram and <coughs> welcome. And now we're going to really just change these text responses, which is what, what we not want. So, um, so you can say like, hello, I am, hello, I am a virtual 
assistant of not the restaurant name right here. The restaurant name. Let's just name the restaurant like like uh uh, uh Dino's Pizza. Let's just go with that. Um how may I help you today? So right here we have one tax response, but we can also have multiple types of tax responses. So we can say greetings instead, and greetings, and whatnot. Um, you can have more stuff like that. So now we're gonna add a response and do custom payload. And over here, we're gonna um, we're gonna call certain functions uh, that Dataflow provided us with uh, in their documentation. So we're gonna do a rich content, rich content. Let me just move my mic away. So we're gonna do rich, rich content, and we're gonna do this. So you can just copy along with me. And let me just delete that space, unnecessary space. And we're gonna have another bracket right here. Do the space as well. I don't think we need all this. And over here, we're gonna enter uh, another function called options. And uh, whoops, just do that. And in in options, what we're gonna do exactly is. Add another function called text. Text. And in text, we're gonna say, Can I book a table? So this is gonna direct us to the reservation intent, which we still have to create. And then we're gonna have another, have another call. So right here, I'm getting an error for some reason. And I'm not exactly sure why I'm getting this error. Oh, it's because I forgot to put a bracket over there. Yeah, so you need a bracket over there as well for some weird reason. And you also need to specify the type. So right here, our type is, <coughs> the type is, um, it's gonna be chips. We want our, we want it to look like chips. So basically what this is going to be is are these chips. So let's say if I just reload this website, these are the chips right here in which we can choose these options instead of typing it out. If you're on mobile devices, it'll be way easier. So we're going to have the types chips and then right here we're going to add parentheses. And I don't know why that's coming as an, I mean, as an error. But I think this should solve it. Yup, it solved it. Okay, nice. Okay, right here we're gonna have. Uh, can I see your menu? Can I see your menu? And do you deliver, for example? Do you deliver? So right here we have um, some chips that we can use. So it'll be easier for the customer, and it looks pretty uh, it looks visually uh, visually appealing as well so let's save that so we're going to click save and we have your intent saved always remember to save your intent it doesn't auto save so if you if you shut down your pc by accident um all for your code and whatever you've, you've done over here is going to go away so now we're going to go to intents and we're going to create another intent which is called um we're gonna do what should we do actually i think we will do the menu intent first so let's start with the menu intent create a new intent menu so so in this intent we're gonna have the menu so the menu is probably not gonna look like this for time purposes but um i can uh, basically talk through how you do this menu um, so let's go ahead and start with the menu 
So we're gonna add a training phrase. So we're gonna say, can I? We're gonna say like, uh, can I see your menu? Can can I see your menu? And remember, this is not hard coded. Um, Dialflow uses natural language processing, so it takes uh, words somewhat form like this, like. Uh, what is on your menu so if i say just include the word menu uh the ai is gonna understand that oh it's the, this guy is saying the word menu so he's gonna tie back to this intent which is the menu intent and yeah it's not really hard coded you know it's not like um i have to say exactly this uh this string right here and enter that for the menu intent to show up that's not how it works so yeah so right now we're gonna say can I see your menu what's on your menu uh uh do you have a bad okay i think we're not gonna go with beverage menu so these are a few example training phrases you can add your own training phrases exactly how you want to like uh you can just keep testing your chatbot if someone asks for the menu and it comes out as an error just add that training phrase so over here we're gonna go with we just close my discord app for some reason it's open okay yeah so wait what the heck happened tax response oh there we go okay so uh here we're gonna say here's our menu here is our menu and now we're gonna do custom payload and we're gonna add a picture of the menu. If you want, you can add, um, you can add an image of it. I mean, you can add a link to the menu to like, um, if you want to link link it, you can do that. Um, but we're just gonna do, uh, we're just gonna add an image. So, wait, something fell. Never mind. Those my earphones. Okay. So let's do this. Start. I'm gonna do rich content again. I'm gonna call that rich content and then in our brackets and then we're gonna add more brackets and then we're gonna do a type image so we're gonna add an image of the menu and you can use your own image if you would like to i'm gonna use an image that i decided to use before yeah, if you can hear background noises of what's going on in my house, I'm sorry. That's. I think my door is open. There you go. I'll close it later. Uh, then I'm gonna do icon, and then in the icon, we're gonna add the type uh, color. Type. And then, I mean, not type color. We're gonna add type link. And then we can link the menu actually, that's pretty cool. Uh, we can do color. Shoot, my bad. Uh, color. Hashtag. Uh, we're gonna go with white. Maybe, I don't know. Let's just go with this color right here. I have it, I uh, used this from my previous spot, so. I just use that color and now we're gonna go ahead and add the text so our text is just gonna simply be order here oh wait I think I did this wrong hmm yeah let's delete all of this I probably I think there's an probably gonna show, show an error if I type this um Type image and then accessibility ability, accessibility text and then MBD image. 
and we're gonna do MBD image. Uh, hold on, let me just copy the image code. So now we're gonna do raw URL. I take the raw URL off the image. And right here, I'm gonna take some image from the internet. You can take whatever image you want as well for the for your menu. So right here, we got the image. Oops, right here, we got the image. And yeah, that's gonna basically have the image. And now we're gonna go ahead and have an order here link. So the order here link, I'm just gonna probably just yeah, just take it from here. So right here we have the order link order here link you can screenshot this and type it by your own just or just pause the video and type this out and uh, I think I'll just make it easier for you guys and just probably just copy and paste all of this code into my description so you guys can do that and we're gonna have a custom payload and you can probably go with probably make it make it make make like a flow of conversation and go with uh hmm coupons so right here we have another chip another suggestion chip in which the user can just click it and see a suggestion so now let's save and now let's look at our bot so right now our bot's not here for some reason let me just go back No clue cool why this is happening. Let's go on Wix. Let's just go on Wix and see what's up. So right here. <coughs> um, we're gonna go site. Uh, view left site. Edit site. I think it's something got to do with the site. So over here, as you can see, we have the website right here, the um, the tutorial. So we can see that this is what we've got till now. And if you hit uh, click, can you kind of see our menu? We get um, here's our menu, and for some reason, uh, the image didn't come up. Let's just see what what went wrong. Did I forget to save? I didn't forget to save no clue why that's happening I see can I see your menu yup the image is not showing up for some reason let's go here and try it now yup the image is not showing up menu did I call this wrong maybe? Or is it just an error in the code? Let me just see. So we got rich. Oh that makes that makes so much sense. That that makes so much sense. Okay. We need we need another square bracket and we need another closing square bracket right here. Right like so. And I think we have it for the rest. So I think that's it. Let me save and let's 
ask can I see your menu and over here we got the menu let's go yeah probably uh, have an option to like uh, expand the menu and yeah so now we're gonna go over um, the booking reservation part which is probably the harder part do you deliver I think it's pretty self-explanatory um, you basically just uh, add the text and I'll I'll go ahead and drop down the code for what this is and how you can have an image in the link and then yeah would you like to see some coupons uh, we can probably have some coupons over there as well which is pretty self-explanatory as well I'll post the code for how to make this thing um, probably click the link and it'll go over to some coupons so yeah um yeah now we're gonna just go over the main the main part of this video in which a lot of people were confused about which is integrating uh maps api i'm uh, not maps api my bad uh calendar api with uh dollar flow so we're not gonna do that in this video but the video right after this i'm gonna go over the fulfillment code again uh, but if you just want to just grab the code from my github I'll link I'll link the video to that in the description where you can just watch the video and then go go uh, grab grab the code from my github and just put that and test it out in your fulfillment but I'll make another video on how to use calendar API in making reservations so let's go ahead and just make the intent for reservations so we're gonna create an intent and let me just sit properly I'm feeling uncomfortable okay so in this intent we will have the reservations so let me just let me just see i have like a google doc to like go over exactly how what i'm doing so okay so yeah we're gonna call this uh we're gonna call this intent um restaurant booking dot create which may be easier for you guys to um, exactly you know create this intent and I mean understand it when you're going over through the full fulfillment code and now we're gonna start creating something called actions and parameters so over here we basically create um, uh, parameter names and entities that we'll be using in our fulfillment code such as um, the guest, the number of guests, the date, the time, uh, the last name of the person or the first name of the person, their email and their phone number. So we can go ahead and just start. Um, so for the training phrase, so like, can I, can, can I book a table? And over here, as you can see, or can I make a reservation? Um, and then we can have another one saying reserve a table and we can do a reserve a table for two. Um, we can also have, um, if you look, if you look here, we can do, uh, reserve, make a reservation for, wait, shoot, uh, we can do, yeah, reserve a table for two. We can just do reserve a table. Let's just go with reserve a table. So. Right now we're gonna do, uh, so I think what we can do is make a reservation for five. So right here we have at dot number and we can make this a required number. So we can make this, make the parameter name guest. And yeah, if you're someone knocking my door, my parents will know I'm recording a video and that's annoying as well, but who cares, it's fine. Let's just go ahead with the video. Um, yeah, guests, and um, the, we're gonna do. We're gonna make that the value. I think that I think my door, my dog's on my door. I'm not sure. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, he is on my door. He's barking. Hopefully, he leaves. Um, okay. So now we're gonna add a prompt, and in our prompt, we're gonna add for how many guests. Um, and people are coming so these are basically uh prompts that the bot's gonna ask to the person and he's gonna collect the number of guests so right here we are adding the prompts okay let me copying this from my document just so i can do this do this faster 
which I made for the video. And now we're gonna go go over uh, the second one, which is date. So, so let's say if I make a reservation for tomorrow at six p.m. So we got assist just dot date time, and right here we have assist dot date time, and we can do um. I think we'll. I think yeah. This will this will be easy. So if you just do, if you just click that, uh, we can do just name it date instead of yeah. Let's just do date time together, and then. Uh, or I think what would be easier if you just if you just use the uh, at sys dot date. If you just use that, and then. Let's do that. And we can add the time here. That would be way easier, right? Yeah, that would be way easier. Let's just do that. It'll be easier for the fulfillment part. So are we gonna do for what date? And then over here we'll, we'll be doing uh, at what at what time? And now we're gonna want the person's name so it can be like hmm what's some names that probably Dalekful has in their has stored in their database i'm just gonna go with really plain christian names that it probably has like let's just go with some random white name let's go with like uh, my my name my name is joe or something my name my name is joe uh so yeah it has the saved in sys dot person so we're gonna go ahead and pr probably just change this to name and uh, to stop person. Yeah, and over here we're just gonna go ahead and just put that since we got the date already. So does this is basically asking for this date? We so it's gonna go ahead and just print the date right here. We will need your name, phone number, and email ad address to contact you about your confirmation. So yeah, that's all. And let's go ahead and close that and just check. And yeah, now we're gonna add um, their email address. So I can go ahead and be like, my email is uh, joel at gmail.com. Unfortunately, the awful doesn't really, can't really understand it. So I got to just type this out email. So over here, we have the email and we're just going to go ahead and check that. And we're going to see what is your email address. And we're just going to scroll this down here and we're going to be like, we're going to add the phone number. So we'll be like, my phone number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is some random phone number. And yeah. So we're going to be like, what is your phone number? And yeah, so we're basically done with all of the entities, which is really good. So we can add, we can add like a cluster of entities um, in the training phrase. For example, if I say something like, uh, uh, can I reserve a table for 12 people tomorrow at 2 p.m.? As you can see, this is probably not what it should have characterized it as. This should be date and this should be time. And we can be like, my name is, uh, hmm, what's your, what's your name, this guy? Uh, 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 my name is Bob, a really, really popular name, uh, Bob. Is that so three six nine okay and my email is bob at gmail.com so right here we have to actually so name uh phone number 
and then right here we got the email so yeah that's just how to make entities you can add more training phrases and make your bot more ac accurate uh, and now we're just gonna go ahead and so basically this is gonna go it's gonna run through the back end and add this to the to your your database or maps API or whatever your API you may be using uh, or DB you may be using and then we're just gonna add this uh, text response you can just copy me uh, and yeah that's and then you can we can add another text response saying see you at okay we're not doing last name right we are not doing last name we're just doing name and add another text response so we're just gonna add that whoops why did that happen and then we're gonna end it with the logo have a have a wonderful day okay so yeah that's it and yeah we're gonna enable this for webhook call. So webhook call is basically enable fulfillment for this. Wait, did I save it? Bro, if I didn't, are you kidding me? I, I didn't save it. Okay, that's whatever. Uh, that's unfortunate. I didn't save my code, but it's, it's fine. That's why I said you always save your stuff. Like you're gonna lose stuff you worked on for like 10 hours and yeah, just save everything you do. Right here, we got a real life example. But yeah, basically what it would look like is something like this. Can I book a table for three people tomorrow at 2 p.m.? Of course, I don't have to say this whole thing. But as you can see, I recognize that I want to make a reservation tomorrow. And we're going to um, and we're going to put some random, random phone number. So as you can see, uh, it is probably gonna yeah. Look, it accessed, it knew that the new it knew the Gmail account and the phone number. However, let's say if your phone number is beyond, beyond, uh, I think, I think I don't really need to cover that. Obviously, if you're let's say if you get a phone number beyond ten units or below ten units, you can just have an if if condition in your fulfillment code, which I'll go I'll go over next video, and yeah, that's it, and yeah, we can have uh, I think creating intents may be self-explanatory for you guys if you guys have any questions please put it down in the comment section uh, i'll go over them uh as quick as possible and yeah a subscriber not a subscriber but a viewer suggested me to make a detailed video on how to create a chatbot and hopefully this helps him or her and yeah if you have if you have any other questions anything just comment it down and yeah you can visit my github repositories to see uh uh, my fulfillment code. I have two two repositories. One is for Node Mailer, and I think another one's for Maps API. I mean, not Maps, uh, Calendar API. So you can just go ahead and check that. Refer to that, and yeah, uh, I think that's it. And I'm signing off.